In this video, I will show you guys how you can play the Clucking Bell Farm Raid two times instead of just the one time. Essentially, you guys will be making double the amount of money just by doing this method. Now, it is important to note that this is not any glitch or any sort of replay method, which might be unfortunate for some of you guys who like to do that. But honestly, guys, I'm not entirely sure if Rockstar intended this to be a thing or not. But essentially, this will just let you guys play the Clucking Bell Farm Raid twice and essentially just let you guys skip a cooldown but if you guys enjoyed this video at any point make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to never miss a video and without any further ado let's jump straight into it so guys to break this method down to you what we will be doing is using two different characters in gta online completing the clucking bell farm raid on one of the characters and then switching character to your second one to complete the clucking bell farm raid again now you might be wondering how will you get the money on your main character and for those of you guys who did not know the money on your first character and second character is in fact shared through the bank so as long as you guys transfer the money into the bank this will be available on both characters and doing this character swap method you will be able to completely avoid the one hour cooldown of the clucking bell farm raid so to start things off i will be on my main character first and i will start the raid and all of the different setups now if you guys want a more in-depth guide on this i already have made one it was the first time i played the raid but hopefully that will give you guys a good idea of what to expect when playing through the raid. Now altogether there is five different setup missions that you will need to complete first and this can roughly take you guys 45 minutes. It honestly just depends how fast you do them and let me just say to you guys there will be a lot of driving in these different setup missions so I would probably recommend that you use your fastest vehicle. For me I like to use the Stinger TT with the HSW upgrades just so that I can get around the map very fast and to get through these setup missions even faster I would also suggest that you put the difficulty to easy now this is completely down to you if you want to play it on hard difficulty obviously go for it but i did notice that you don't really get any bonuses maybe there is some sort of progress unlock in the career challenges tab if you play on the hard difficulty however i am honestly not that fussed about that so i just play all of these setup missions on easy and then the main finale on hard but anyways guys, skipping ahead, I have now just got up to the finale. I will be doing this with the stealthier approach. However, I will just be rushing through this main finale. There is honestly no time limit to do this in. I just like to go through it as fast as possible normally. One thing that I did notice in the raid is once you guys have escaped the Clucking Bell facility and you are on the getaway, when you start driving away from the Clucking Bell facility, your personal vehicle will spawn in. So if you guys have a fast personal vehicle, I would definitely keep an eye out on your minimap for that. It will make the getaway much faster to complete and most likely much easier but after driving for some time i delivered the goods to vincent and you will see because i played this on hard difficulty for the finale i got the full five hundred thousand dollars again a bunch of rp and we are done with the finale so of course at this point with just the one character you will typically have a whole hour before you guys can start the clucking bell raid again and the game will actually say this in the top left hand corner of the screen specifically it does not say it has a one hour cooldown but this cooldown period has been confirmed by test to funds over on twitter or x so in this hour what you guys can actually do is just go to your gta online tab in the pause menu go down to manage characters and switch to a second character you should also be able to just create a new character because i do believe that you guys can play through the finale and everything like that at even rank one so guys the moment i spawn into my second character you will see that i do have the v symbol on my map which means that the clocking bell farm raid is still available and this is just right after completing it on my first character so like before i will now complete the clucking bell farm raid again but this time on my second character you guys will probably notice that i have the whole amount of money that was in my first character's account and this is just because it is in the bank account which makes it accessible across both characters so i do have nearly 100 million dollars so if i wanted to i could just buy a new car some weapons to help me with the raid now similar to the first time playing this it took me roughly 45 minutes to get up to the finale, which keep in mind it will be great because by the time we have completed this on the second character, we should just be able to switch to my first character and play through it all again with absolutely no cooldowns whatsoever and still making the money in between the cooldowns. So after some time, guys, I delivered the goods to Vincent's man again. You will see we got the $500,000 payout again. And now before switching to my first character, I will transfer the money into the bank and this will just make sure 
manner that the money is synced between both characters. I can now just switch back to my first character and once I spawn in, we have the V symbol on the map, which means that we can play through the Clucking Bell Farm Red. So essentially we have just skipped the cooldown in some sort of way. I mean, technically we haven't because it has pretty much been one hour, but in between that time, we have just played another Clucking Bell Farm Red when I guess we should not be able to. Now I'm not sure if this is some sort of bug with Rockstar or something, but overall I would probably not say this is overpowered. It's honestly not that bad. I mean, you guys are only making $500,000 in an hour. Now I do say only because the KO pre-cut heist pretty much makes you guys 1.4 mil. But then again, in one hour, $500,000 is very good. It's nothing bad or anything. And you guys have the potential to make even more money. For example, if you guys have Acid Labs on both characters, you can make twice the amount of money. So I'd definitely try this out and see what you guys think. It will take a bit of grinding to probably get used to this and switching the characters all the time. But for the most part, I would say this is a very good method. I might try this with the KO Preco heist and switch characters when I do get the cooldown and really test if that works as well. If that works, I would be very shocked because you guys could probably fit a KO Preco heist in between these Clucking Bell Farm raids and doing that, you will be able to make millions of dollars. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on this money method in the comments down below. Did you guys know about this method or not? And if you guys went on to enjoy this video or found it useful in some way, shape or form, make sure to leave a like. I really appreciate your support. And if you guys are new here, subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video. Finally guys, stay safe, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.